Today is Anthony's Crosto Garage. Famous as videos. Yeah, but he only has 40... 100 likes, I think. But we have a new dump truck to say about this big dump truck, so make sure you leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. But it is very old. It has rat poop in it. But don't worry. Don't just put a little bit of the thumbs down. But look at that sweet thing. I mean, make sure you leave a like for this thing. Because this is going to be one of our famous videos in the world. Tony, my dad, he's going to be fixing on the dump truck. Isn't that amazing? I know. Sorry, gotta meet my brother. But would you like to stay with us for a while? Explore a new venture. Up in there somewhere, up in our forest that way, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a white stick up there. Cause we're gonna be building a new garage. We'll, we'll stick to the video, but that'll be like a long time. So make sure you hold, hold that big subscribe button. Back to Anthony. For the walk around the truck, this is the 1986 Ford F8000. I purchased at a very low price. The truck is in pretty rough shape, as you can see. I bought it because I got approval to start on my garage here at my house. Uh, I'm going to do the excavation myself, but I need something to haul the dirt. Uh, I was looking for a cheap, cheap dump truck, and this one fit the bill. It's only set for two years since it was run last, according to its log. The inspection sticker was 2017. As far as I know, it was sitting in the weeds somewhere on a strip mine. Today we're going to work on it and start building the bed back up because it is a dump truck. We have to build sideboards and a gate for the back and that's what we'll be working on today on it. Also we need to change fluids, there's a light switch, and maybe some belts. Not sure what all we're gonna get accomplished in this video. Or is this bed being very rough shape, but really solid. I mean, it's gonna work well enough for what I need it to do. There's all fence and everything. For me to get to where my post needs to be back here. Today? Get have been this up. So it can run the whole length, forge up between it, just regular like steak body. However, though, however, though, here across the back, I want an actual gate. The gate's got to go this way, open this way, because I know it won't get in the rocks. There's still hydraulics and tires and oil change, fuel filters, and stuff like that. I need to do. But I need to do that part of my shop or my work rather so i'm gonna go ahead and get one of my long boards here and stuck in here get an idea where this needs to be at i got heavy metal on my weld here also then i want to make a triangle off of it with a slot wide enough to fit a two by four in <clears throat> very uh very good metal if it was a moon it's got a lot of craters
<laughs> board just long enough. Those are free. All right, kind of get mocked up. What I want to do here. I don't know if I ever have to haul brush with this. I just want to get a little bit harder to get a little bit more in there. But really, I probably only put boards about this high, right around 14 and a quarter. But I'm going to go ahead and go to 22 in the back there for the gate. <laughs> Bunch of bulls. now I just need to mark this and get my torches and start cutting it. This audio is going to be awful with this wind. Both mine. Two pieces are cut. Now I'll get, get the grinder out. Wind's blowing pretty good. It's going to be hard to do audio. Let alone just weld. This is where it's going at. Then I'll put the ears on here to hold my two by fours. I'm just going to use a square to square it up best I can on the bent bed. Everything's going to be pretty well with just eyeballing it. Put a little, keep my little square here, pack it, pack it, pack it, and then start running some bolt gum on it. I have the right end on it. Side down and do that side, then start trying to figure out how to design a gate for it. Take a break from the irritation. Get some pieces out. Alright. Get this welded in. Don't mind don't mind this over here. Freaking wind. I got my triangle. Need out to hold my boards. I'm gonna cut this out. Use it for a template. Then mark out three more and cut them. Then I'll get on this side right here. Uh, that's what's going to hold my boards. And that part will be done. Kind of. Okay, I'll start on the other side. Uh. Alright, get my triangle cut out. Snap it off. Now this is going to work. It's going to go. Right on that. Of course, my bed so square. I have to do some grinding to make her nice. I can make three more like that, and then I can leave my boards in there. <sighs> So, get all these done, get my other side welded on, get these welded on, then I'll bring you back in and we'll start on this gate. Whoa. Whoa.
Get all four triangles. Get all four triangles, support, whatever, for my board. It's a little wider than normal, but I don't know. I might put some oak or something in there, some rough cut. I never know. I just gotta weld this up here and on the other side. And then do it all over again. Okay, so. As soon as my uh, work area can get cleared out here, I'll start welding when it's safe. Talking about you and you. More, more so, you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Aren't you mowing? Cool. Oh, you're putting that sideboard on. Put side. I thought you were just going to put a. Yeah, but I mean, there's no support back here. That's not right here. <laughs> That's why I wanted to cut it off here. Daddy, can I, can I have That's a light, please? Hi. That's going to hold. It's like on top of bubble gum. Bubble gum? Yeah, a couple of spots. Bad bubble gum. This wind's off. I don't think you're going to go over. Go out all that right now. I'll just can you give me down, Dad? Let me try. I'm not Well, yeah. This one of them ones at night and dim? Yeah. Shoot, I did pretty good beat. What's the noise? Huh? Good. Well, good. Do you want to do the other side? <laughs> I already cut the pieces out. I just haven't grind everything. The support and all the triangles are already all cut out. I used to be a pretty good welder one time. I was the welder of the electric shop. All right, Dad. Welding up the other side. I'm already setting the floor for this side. Put that welded in. Now we'll go get our stuff open. Off up a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How high do you think should go? Yeah, that's well, this. Well, I made them super high. Never know, we might have to haul a brush or something. You can always stack. Dirt's, dirt's lighter than grab. Yeah, we're either made like I said, that we can always put brush back here or something like that. Oh, they're so hot. Sideboard in. Okay. All right, get the sideboards on the dump truck. Now we're gonna put stanchions. You ever put stanchions on the back so we can put a gate that swings? Don't get it swings. I already cut two out. Gary cut the last two. Yeah, it's hot. It melted the glove. We'll put a rod through here so the tailgate can swivel at the top. And once we get the frame built up and put it here, then we get down here to where the latches are. We'll put it all down here so we can. Take it off to the top or the bottom. Hi! Hey. Hi. 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 Hi.
right now, Dad's will smooth up my beaver cut. I finally started on the tailgate. I said I was going to start on the tailgate there a little while ago. And we didn't get that done. But I did cross, cut out my top piece out. I got my pieces in on the sides here and he drilled holes in them to lock the pins in so they don't slide out. Right now I'm going to build down tubes down to here. And on this side also. And then I'll tie in the bottom and put pins on the bottom. And a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out what I need on this piece, and these are going to be my end pieces. Get my lines cut out, and I'm going to cut this with the grinder, so I get a good straight cut, the best I can cut I can get. Alright, I'm going to get my dogs inside and cut these out. Get this side weld in. Go ahead and weld this side in. Then I'll be able to measure my bar here at the bottom. It's going to run across the gate. And then I'll be able to put my center section in. And after I get my center section in, then I can drill my holes for that, cut my plate out. But I don't know, this part as far as I'm going to be able to get today, I do believe. So I'm going to go ahead and weld this in, get this bottom piece in. I think that's going to be good for right now. All right, well now I'm going to cut my piece here at the bottom. I'm going to have it come in and rest right here. And weld my pins underneath of it. Um, cutting or reshaping or something there. Get the torches. Now I got my layer bar in. I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up. Gate. We'll go ahead and uh, not today. I don't feel like dragging out my plasma cutter. But I gotta cut and mark all this. How about that? Put it on there. And then she'll be done. I really should probably put that on the inside, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Gate lifted off. We gotta start drilling some pins. Evan, it wasn't jammed to crack the whole garage. Wasn't jammed to crack the whole garage.
All right, now time for the pump port. Uh, drilling. Drill how it holds up from my pin so I can have keepers in there so these the big pins will slide out. The wet one. Now Daddy did this one. It's pretty neat, right? And it keeps sticking out to Anthony's crossed o garage. Peace while we're doing out here in the rain on a Friday night. Now we're gonna try to hang it back onto the truck. I'm gonna try to find a new camera angle here. Good morning. Good morning. My well, wife made me stop last night. So, started doing an old change here this morning, got that done. Realized I needed two of the same filters, only had one. I'd get in town, get another filter. Get some other parts and stuff for my truck. Uh, I got the linkage. I started putting my PTO together. I got uh, hydraulic fluid. Last night I was putting the skate on. I guess I was struggling with it. 
and it can't get on that way. So now, now, now I'm going to take it, wrestle it back off here because it's a little bit later in the morning now, so I can make a little bit of racket and turn it around here. Then I got to start grinding out my points here and get those all hooked up and welded in. I think Dad really wants to weld it, so I'll just grind it and get ready for it, maybe tack it. And we'll have this gate done. Then I need to start working on the linkage and the and the cab. I got something I think something I think is going to work. Uh, it's a binder. I don't know. I just need some pivot, some type of lever, and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted in tractor supply. So I want to make something so I can get this thing to dump. But I still got issues with my two-speed rear end. I don't know, there's probably a lot, I still gotta get tires for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff done today, so I can start, I'm gonna start cutting down some trees, and load this thing up with brush, and we're gonna give her a testy. Yeah, I still gotta put some grease in it too, front kingpins ain't wanting to take grease, I want to jack up the front end so they'll take grease, so... Right now, I really want this gate facing the right way and working, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got my rods in, got the gate turned around. That's what it was designed for. I didn't I didn't make the tailgate square. I made it to fit the back of this truck. The back of the truck is bent. Now, we'll take these rods here and put them here in the bottom. Obviously, I gotta ground this out. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cut these blanks right here. And then we'll weld this to the frame up the tailgate and weld this to this because we got a pretty hefty gap there want to get a good weld don't want nothing falling out going down the road all right this is all right chef got my rods cleaned up here so i can weld to them then i got my pieces cut out put behind them tailgate up and hold with the ladder then finish welding it out and this will be DUN and then I can go start working on my I need to still get the truck greased and my dogs filled and rod made so I don't know let's go ahead and start on this now well, there it is kind of All right, we're getting inside the truck. Uh, Dad's gonna be here soon. We'll finish well on the back. Let's get them sucking some mouse turds out of here. Thanks, thanks. This right here, I got cut out. Drop this down through, and then this will be my lever for my dump bed. 
I gotta make enough room down in here to cut that out to drop it down through. I would just use my plasma cutter, but I don't need to burn this piece of junk down, so. Let's go ahead and get her cut out here. Well, that's right, play nice. Oh, fire. I got two bolts to pull this side down, hold it in place. I need to cut this little piece off here. Got my dump lever here. Made a little carabiner or binder. I don't know, a little binder. That's just gonna get right down the hole here. There, got my lever in. Now I gotta hook my rod to it. All right, guys, back on the welder. I'm just talking to my camera. <laughs> so you're back on the welder. All right. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him anyway. All right. Well, my high beams ain't working. Where are my headlights? That might be a problem. I get a new switch. I'll try to get this old one out. Then I get the new one installed. I was very, I don't know how I got so lucky. I don't know how I got so lucky getting the other one out, but it did. And now my headlights work. Just checked them. Let's go look at him right now. There we go. There's one headlight. There's two headlights. Oh, all right, now we're just moving right along here. Dad's got the tailgate up. He's welding. We welded so much, we ran out of water. Now, 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 I don't know. I'm going to do a little more sweeping here. I got my rod fixed. Probably gonna start pumping some hydraulic oil, which I don't know if you guys need to watch that. I'm just gonna pump some hydraulic oil. Yeah. Well, Dan's playing some uh, rust cover on the new tailgate, got all welded up and yeah. latched. Yeah. I'm filling up with hydraulic fluid. Just got done with my lever. Got my lever inside there. Put about two gallons in this thing. Hydraulic fluid, so hopefully that's all it needs and she'll pop right up for us. Well, if not, I know. That's where I have to figure something, figure out what's wrong with it. Actually, I'm gonna move it. You wanna move that welder out of the way? I'm gonna move it right here so we can dump that metal out.
mean, what, something happened to me, what's wrong with it, is it? Oh, no. In the bag here where the, the helmet is. Where is your bike at? Well, that's enough for this video. What? Huh? What? That's enough for this video. We're going to load the logs in, but the dump, dump truck dumps and gate works and hydraulics work and just need to put some more fluid in it. We're going to fasten down these sideboards now. See ya. Bro, well, goodbye for the next video. And come back for Anthony's Crosto Garage. Bye. Bye. We got have pancakes tomorrow. We're going to have pancakes tomorrow. Just a little bit of time. And Papa's here to eat dinner with us. And for real, my dad is going to chop down those trees. Hey, why don't you film Papa? We're gonna make a garage. Now you heard this before when I saw it on top. I was so embarrassed. I can't believe I'm seeing this on camera. It's getting stuck right now. Stuck right now. It's getting really stuck right now. But keep exploring. How blue my finger is. Dabby dabby dabbery. Dabby dabby dabbery. Dabby dabby dabbery. Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Mama, oh, take me home.